dyslexia doesn't go away, there's no cure. So to make uh, my children have to be tested every three years to reconfirm that they have a disability is um, very troubling to me as a mother. I hope that con Congress um, understands what we're saying and that they could relate to us and think that this is a priority because we're smart kids, but the thing is that sometimes we're held back because people just don't understand. My hopes of, with something like this where we're meeting with congressmen and, and, and presenting this as this issue is that we can start to break down those barriers so that people don't have to go to private schools, they don't have to sort of find these expensive alternatives outside the system, that this system can really accommodate all types of learners. We have many uh, members of Congress who are dyslexic and many more of us who have children with dyslexia. And this is so important that we get the message out. Thank you all for being here. Hi, my name is Bonnie, uh, and I'm a dyslexic. I have three children. Two of them have dyslexia. There's no cure, but it's really hard when you have to tell your 10-year-old daughter that she has to be tested again and she says to you, does this mean maybe I won't have it this time? I don't know why it's done. I don't know why they make people with this disability prove over and over and over again that they still have it. I really hope that this Congress can do something about that. In a country that needs people who can do more than just push wheelbarrows full of cement, we need people who can have skills in technology and computer science. Then once you establish what that diagnosis is, then you can actually begin again the accommodation and the instruction, the intervention if you will, that can unlock the child's potential. We can keep them in school and have them learn and progress and mature. And so that's why this meeting What's so important is to try and spread the word among my colleagues in Congress and the public. This movie makes clear that dyslexia need not limit potential, but it takes specific intervention to keep it from doing so.